But first tonight, boaters beware. Wild weather has been turning up sandbars along southwest Florida's beaches. It's not only stranding boaters, it's posing a threat to local fishing and tourism industries. Four in your corners, Mike Mason with a story you'll see only on Fox 4. Yeah, the strong winds associated with Tropical Storm Debbie have created dangerous sandbars all along our coastal waters, and boaters now need to be more cautious than ever. Captain Gene Becker says navigating his 75-foot charter boat has just become a lot more dangerous. If they don't do something soon, it's going to be a major problem. Yeah. About a month ago, Becker would have been able to pass alongside this casino boat, but recently sandbars, or shoals, have built up along the coast, creating a narrow lane of passage along Matanzas Pass. At this point, only one big boat can pass by at a time. Now it seems to be filling in, and our biggest concern is the next storm, if it fills in even further, how are we going to operate? Tropical Storm Debbie's strong winds are to blame for shifting the sand around. You can see these people standing on a sandbar that wasn't even there before Debbie hit. And basically what was the channel is now land. And under the water, the hidden sandbars have been stranding boaters just off Fort Myers Beach, something that keeps towing companies very busy. I've never seen it like this before. Since Debbie, Sea Tow has constantly been rescuing boats that get bottomed out, responding to five or six calls each day on the weekends. The most dangerous section for sandbars is along Sanibel, right next to the lighthouse. Someone can skim across and get halfway in there, then hit that sandbar uh, where they've got no water, and it's very difficult for us to get to them. Paul Dahlman says the shoals pose a serious risk to the boating and fishing industries, threatening small shrimp boats and even these large casino cruises. He says if officials don't do something soon, it will only get worse. Somebody needs to get out here before the next storm because it will probably shut a lot of businesses down uh, if we can't get out of this pass safely. And the shoals are most dangerous during low tide, so boaters should always be aware of the tidal flows, and boaters who do get hung up on a sandbar can expect to pay up to $350 an hour to hire a towing company. In the studio, Mike Mason, Fox 4 in your corner.